hello everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video i will explain you how to create campaigns record in bulk with the help of salesforce data loader tool and before that i would like to introduce our newly launched salesforce course so let me show you the course content and also i will mention the link of course in the description so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course so it's a beginner to advanced level salesforce course and it, there are nine plus modules and 20 plus hours hd video and you will also get the pdfs and the certification after the completion and also there is an offer for 50 percent discount for the early birds so so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course and if you subscribe this course right now you have to pay only 99 dollars instead of 199 dollars so even if you are a beginner then you will understand each and everything in this course and to get this course you can redirect to our website and from there you can subscribe to this course so now let's move back to our topic so as we know that in salesforce we use the campaigns in various business and marketing processes throughout the marketing cycle and this campaigns helps us in organize our marketing and when it comes to creating the campaign record then we can create it from the campaign tab but when you have to create campaign records in bulk then the data loader will be the best option due to its capability to manage bulk data with accuracy so let's move ahead and see the process of creating mass campaign records with the help of salesforce data loader tool and before that make sure that you have installed the salesforce data loader tool in your system and have required access to update the campaign records and to perform this operation we first need to create a csv file with the help of which we will insert the data into our salesforce org using the data loader so first let's see the process of creating the csv file so as you can see on the screen that these are the header columns that we required as a field to so these header columns are start date and date campaign name campaign owner type and status and for better understanding let me show you the step by step tutorial of this process where i have mentioned the details of these fields and also i will mention the link of this blog in the description of this video so in this section you can see you have to enter the date in the year month and date format or according to the format that is defined in your org otherwise you will face an error while importing the date values and in the campaign name you have to enter the name of the campaign and in the header column campaign owner you have to enter the id of the campaign owner that is the id of the users and you will get that user id from the user setup window let me show you that also so to get the user id you have to go back to the setup page of salesforce and here go to the quick find box and here search and select the users and in the user setup window you can see the list of users that are in the org and from here you have to select the user that you want to assign as owner of the campaigns that you are going to create so here you can see the user and to view the id of the user you can click on the edit button and in the url you can see this 15 digit code that is starting from 0055 so from here you can get the user id of the owner and the next is the campaign type and if you don't have any idea about the campaign type then again i would like to show you from where you can get that so so from the app launcher i will navigate to the campaigns tab while creating a new campaign here you can see there is an option of campaign type so in the drop down you can see these are the this is the list of campaign types available for the org so from here you can select any of the campaign type to create the new campaign record and the last one is the status so status you can keep as planned in progress completed or aborted and this is also a pick list field so it depends how many status options are there in your org so now i will enter the values for the header columns that i have created and here i forgot to mention that I, we also need the column that will show the active status of the campaign so this active status will be true or false so since we are going to create the campaign so i am going to keep the status as true which means the campaign is active so now as you can see that i have created my csc file through which i will create the campaign records and after this i will save this csc file in my system from where it can be accessed to the data loader and make sure that you save this file in the csv format so now we are going to perform the data insert operation with the help of data loader so let's open the data loader tool 
so now i have opened my data loader tool and and here i will click on the insert button and after this i will log in with my credentials and now in this step activate the checkbox show all salesforce object and search and select the campaign object and after this select the csv file that we have created right now after selecting the csv file click on the next button and as you click on the next button the data loader will initialize the csv file and display the number of rows in the csv file here I click on the ok button to proceed now in this step we have to do the mapping between the header columns and the object in the field object names and the object field names so for that click on the button create or edit a map then in the mapping dialog window click on the button auto match field to columns so this will auto match the object field with the header columns and in case they are not auto match then you have to drag and drop the object field down to the column mapping so there are some fields which are left to map so i will drag and drop them in the column mapping and after the mapping click on the ok button and in this window click next and in this step select the location for the error and success files that will record the data of the success and errors occur during the data insert operation and then click on the finish button as we click on the finish button we will get a warning message regarding the data insert operation here click on the yes button to proceed so now the data insertion will start and after its completion a dialog box will display the message of successful inserts so here we got the four successful insert with zero errors so we can also view the status of inserted record and here you can see the status is showing item is created that means we have successfully created the campaign records so first i will close this and then click on the ok button to close the salesforce data loader wizard now i'm going to show you the campaigns that we have created right now so from the salesforce setup page click on the app launcher and navigate to the campaigns tab and in the campaigns tab you can change the list view to all active campaigns since we and in the campaigns tab we will change the status to all active campaigns because campaigns we have created right now we have created with the active status so as i have switched the view to active campaigns you can see these are the campaigns that we have created right now these are the campaign records campaign one two three and four so this is how we can create the campaign records in bulk using the salesforce data loader tool so this was all about creating the bulk campaign records using the salesforce data loader tool and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye